In honor of Veterans Day, which was this past Monday, this week's trip in the political Wayback Machine takes us to November 10, 1866, and the aftermath of the Civil War. In 1865, as that war was drawing to a close, President Abraham Lincoln signed an act creating the National Asylum for Disabled Volunteer Soldiers. That designation was later changed to Home for Disabled Veterans. Maine's facility was built at what was originally a summer resort near Augusta, known as Togus Springs, which had gone out of business in the midst of the war. The government bought the land and buildings for $50,000, and the first veteran was admitted on November 10, 1866. Mm. Togus initially housed fewer than 400 vets, but an expansion two years later made room for 3,000. At that time, Togus was organized much like a military camp, with the men living in barracks and wearing modified army uniforms. By the end of World War II, the facility had expanded from a home to a full-service medical center. And today, the Togus VA campus is a medical center, a regional office, and a national cemetery. And Togus VA provides services at 10 locations in Maine, from Portland to Fort Kent. That's uh, quite a growth spurt over wow, that time. Wow, an extraordinary piece of history that uh, is heart and soul with me. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, unfortunate we don't do more for veterans. You know, it's very nice how that started. And I think that that's a place where both parties agree. We just have got to find ways to do more for our veterans. And uh, Togus, great example. We, we thank them all for their service. Yes, indeed.